Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. All of you are aware of Pythagoras theorem, isn't it? What have we learnt there? That in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of the square of the remaining two sides, correct? So the same proof, we will prove it today, okay, in our theorem 6.8. So here in this triangle ABC, it is given that angle B is equal to 90 degree and BD is perpendicular to AC. So with this we understand that this angle here and here it will also be 90 degree. So we have to prove that AC square will be equal to AB square plus BC square. Now see if you look at this triangle ABC, we have 90 degree here. So AC becomes the hypotenuse side. So square of the hypotenuse side should be equal to the square of the remaining two sides. This is what we will have to prove here. So let us begin with the proof now. So initially we will begin considering this triangle ADB okay, and then triangle ABC. Since BD is perpendicular to AC, so we have written here this will form 90 degrees. So if this is 90, the other side also it will be 90 degree only. Okay. So when you consider this triangle, okay, just pay attention to this. Now this is ADB, this triangle. Okay. So let's say if I remove this triangle from the entire big triangle ABC. So we have something like this here. So we can prove that both the triangles are similar okay, by certain criteria. So let's see what are those criteria. Look at this angle A and then the entire triangle ABC also has angle A. So we will say angle A will be equal to angle A because both are common angles. Similarly, Angle ADB, you see here, this is right angle. Similarly, in ABC, we have this angle B as right angle. So, we can say that triangle ADB and triangle ABC, both are similar triangles by which criteria? AA similarity criteria. Okay, so let's see how to write that. So in both the triangles, we got angle A which is common angle and then ADB that is this angle and then ABC each is right angle. Okay. So we can say both the triangles are similar by AA similarity criteria. Now we have learnt earlier if two triangles are similar then their sides are also proportional, isn't it? So let me just keep this triangle here back. Okay. So this triangle ADB and ABC are similar. We have proved already. So their sides have to be proportional. Okay. So just for my convenience, what we will do, we will just turn it anti-clockwise so that both triangle looks same. So we can say that AD upon AB, you see both these sides are smaller compared to the other one. So we will say AD upon AB will be equal to, which is the hypotenuse side here? This is 90 degree. So AB upon AC. Okay, so look at this. Check here. AD upon AB. AD upon AB, this side will be equal to AB upon AC. Okay, so the reason here will be CPST, that is corresponding part of similar triangle, or you can just write uh, sides are proportional in similar triangle. Okay, so that also will be considered. So next, what we will do here is we will cross multiply. So AD multiplied by AC, you can just put a dot here, this indicates multiplication and AB multiplied by AB will become AB square. So we have cross multiplied here. So this step I have got from step 4. So in the first case, we proved that this triangle ADB and ABC are similar. Similarly, uh, we can say that this triangle BDC and triangle ABC will be similar. If you just look at this triangle, pay attention. See, we have angle C and angle C which is common and we have a right angle here as well as here. Okay, so we will not write that steps again here since we have already proved it for the first one. For the next we can directly say similarly this triangle CDB and ABC will be similar. Okay, so let's say if you just turn this clockwise, can you see both the triangles they look exactly same, both are right angle triangles. So then we can say that since they are similar, their sides also have to be proportional. 
so we can say cd upon bc will be equal to check which is the hypotenuse side here bc upon the hypotenuse here is ac so that will go in your next step okay see here cd upon bc you can even write it as cb equal to cb the hypotenuse side here and the hypotenuse here is ac so that is what i have written here the reason here will be cpst that is corresponding part of similar triangles or you can even write sides are proportional so let's cross multiply now here so after cross multiplying you will have cd multiplied by ca okay so this dot represents multiplication cb multiplied by cb you will have cb square next we will add step 5 and step 8 so step 5 i have ad multiplied by ac and here cd multiplied by ca check here this i have put in the bracket then cd multiplied by ca will go in the bracket right hand side i have ab square and here plus cb can also be written as bc square so what is the reason here we are adding step 5 and step 8 so that will go under your reason so you look at this brackets here you have ac and ac ca is also called as ac only here so this line segment is common so that you'll have to bring outside the bracket so if this is brought out what will remain here we have ad which is remaining and cd which is remaining here will be equal to ab square plus bc square now look at the figure ad plus cd ad plus cd if this two line segments you add we have this line segment ac so ad plus cd can also be written as ac here in the remaining you will have to bring down so ac bracket ac which means multiplication ac multiplied by ac will give us ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so we have finally proved what we had to prove that is ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so you can say hence proved i hope you have understood this theorem that's all for today Thank you students